Hey, people. Uh, real quick before the episode starts, I know I haven't done this in a while, and I haven't done it ever, I think, on the comic podcast, but um, this is the most spoiler-filled warning you will ever get from us. We are breaking down Endgame in this episode, and it is a lot, a lot, a lot of spoilers. Um, it's At this point, hopefully you've seen the movie, and if not, I would go see it before you listen to this episode, because we do talk a lot of that about uh, Endgame and uh, reveal a lot of info. Uh, but at this point, hey, who cares? It's past the weekend when everybody in the planet sans Tom went and saw it. So you've been warned, and here comes the episode. Thanks. We'll call this take three, but we are back with the Pop Culture Bombcast presents the Pop Culture Comic Pod. That means always sitting across from me, comic book fan, all around attractive guy, he says, uh, yeah. the John. <laughs> he says. He says. And, uh, they say. And for the second time in a row, she, she will be sort of gen- uh, joining us this episode, the flop, because here in a little bit we're going to talk about Avengers Endgame. She's going to have some thoughts because she did go see it with me. Uh, she did see Infinity War and Endgame. I did. So we will we will hit on that, and that's going to dominate most of the episode. But before we get to that, we uh, we've been meaning to talk about comic books for a while too. And you and I read one, a really critically acclaimed comic that you brought to my attention a few yeah, months back. Yeah, it was by Tom King. Tom we were King, uh, 2017 run on Miracle Man. Is he yep. still ongoing, or is it just the? Uh, no, that was a it was a one, twelve shot. The twelve done. issues. Uh, it's Tom King and Mitch Gerard is Mi- the artist. Mitch Gerard is the art. Uh, so we might as well just stop start right there with that. For those that don't know, Miracle Man. Is the son of the High Father, but he was raised by Darkseid. Yeah, in a in a deal to create peace through the old, or the the new gods and uh, the and well, the, the good, good guys, guys the and good the bad planet guys. and the bad planet. Yeah, so the uh, what is it? New Genesis and yeah. Apocalypse. Yes. So they had they were trapped in eternal struggle, both sides equal, so they could never have a winner. So in order to create peace, Darkseid and Orion, or High Father traded their sons, which yep. is Orion and Scott Free. Yeah. A.K.A. Mr. Miracle. Uh, Mr. Miracle's spiel is that he was tortured and stuff growing up until he could escape. He's the world's or the universe's greatest escape artist. Yes. And so then, you know, a lot of good things have happened over the years with the new gods. A lot of really hokey things have happened yeah. over the years with the new gods. Uh, but this was really the first. I, I equate it to the, uh, this, and, and you and I talked about this. I equate it to kind of what they did with the Vision in yeah. Marvel. Yeah. They took a character that's kind of cool yeah. and made it really awesome. With Oddly like, enough, they look alike. They really do. They and really do. Very broke both of them. Very, very big similarities. And and Vision was an unbelievable run. That's for another time. I just time. started it last that's night. That's for another time. Because this one is uh, a run that garnered a lot of fame and attention with it. And so we jumped into it. Yeah, so, it was an award winner last year. Eisner Award winning yeah. comic book. Um, I read it and we'll get to our review at the end yeah um but since you were really the one that suggested we give it a go we'll let you lead off with what your thoughts well were. The, i mean the hype was all over the place all of last year that this was one of the best books of 2018 and uh the art by mitch gerard was spectacular it fit the book yeah it fit the and book. um tom king's a really good twitter follow if you don't uh follow him so i don't follow him. i really wanted to check him out uh, so I jumped into the book, and I knew almost nothing about Mr. Miracle, but so I went back and started reading some of the old Jack Kirby stuff just to get uh, yeah, well, get I, an understanding of the character. That's a tough read, too. Actually, it was kind of fun. Like The art's amazing. I yeah. mean, Kirby's art was... I mean, he's the king. Yeah, I read like probably the first 10 or 12 episode uh, issues, issues, and yeah. it's... Uh, I mean, it's cheesy 60s stuff, but I had a good time with it. And then other things came out, and I moved on. But uh, I got an idea who the character is and what he stands for. Uh, he's I, a great character. The yeah. story, the backstory is great. Yeah. He's always been... A, uh, he's married to Big Barda. Yeah. Big Barda is literally a big woman. Yeah. Uh, she's not necessarily Wonder Woman level in strength, but she definitely is in training and fighting ability. Yeah, I mean, she was raised on a She was a fury as well. by Grandma. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Granny. Granny Goodness. I pop, uh, Granny Goodness is who yeah. raised here. Don't let the name fool you. Granny Goodness is probably the most evil woman in the universe. Yeah, she... Tor- yeah, like that. Torches all her babies. Yep. But we find out through this series that Wait, she actually loves did you say torture them. or... Torches. Torches. Tortures. Tor- tortures. And torches. Tortures. And tor- yeah, all yeah, of it. Because they're in the, 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 <laughs> the, hell, yeah. the pits of Apocalypse, yeah. which are hell pits. Uh, so 
Fire pits. And I don't I didn't know much about Dark Side and Apocalypse and all and Orion and the new gods on Dark the DC side. Dark Side is uh the ultimate bad guy. I thought, you know, out of the gate I thought after reading all the way through it, he kinda went down like a bitch in this. Well that we'll get to so let's let's talk about that. Yeah. One of my the story was very entertaining. Um, yeah, I thought the pacing was great. Let's let's go ahead and review it, and then we'll explain our reviews. Uh, out of five, in our universal untapped scale of rating everything, what mm-hmm. would you say it is? I would give it a three. I'm going to be right there with you. Yeah, it was a good comic. Um, I read it. Here's the flaw. I've been. It was over a month ago when I read it. I don't have a lot to say about it. Yeah, I um, I didn't think it was as great as everyone was making it out to be. I thought the things that they did very well was his home life. Yeah, him and Big Bardas. I thought was amazing. And uh, the uh, I liked his uh, the the segues like yeah. performing a new escape for yeah. the public and stuff like that. Um, it really was kind of hard to follow there though. Was he really like performing for the public? Yeah, I, yeah. Was all of this in his head? Did Dark Side get in his head? Was he in Orion's head? Was he even there? Um, it was. That's kind of what they wanted you to do through the yeah. whole thing. Some kind of like question, a like his thing. sanity type thing. Yeah. But the problem is, is these are the new gods. These are guys like Orion has toe to toe with Superman. Dark sides bested the war, the the, the yeah. universe. Um, to my knowledge, Scott Free is not Orion level strength, a not, and never yeah, I has don't think been. He is. I just think but he's... he took a butt whooping from Orion. Yeah. Uh, light ray it just murdered people just by blasting them with his light rays, yeah. and I've seen people stand up to it. I d- the inconsistency with the history of the characters is what bothered me. And I, the other thing that bothered me was like death was no big deal. Like spoiler, but light ray gets taken out, and that's it's what like, I meant. Did I say light ray a while ago? That's yeah. what I meant. Yeah, but well, he gets taken out, and it's like no big deal, and people just drop off, and it's, tons of them get just. Ta- I, I mean, mean they. they that was the only flaw I found in it. There was no weight to death in the book. Yeah, it was almost like the... And I think... And maybe like, I'm reading into it wrong, and that was the point. Well, like you said, and that's what made me think it was all in this head. Yeah. Uh, but like what you said, too, is there was no... It, the home life was really the big thing. Yeah. And so the battles were almost just like a means of getting to the home. Because you didn't yeah. see hard, any of the battles. No, yeah, it was they very would, little stuff. They uh, would leave, and they would come back. Yeah. Now, so I don't want to poo-poo on it too much because three is not a bad. It's above yeah. average. No, it was uh, great. Uh, it it just... was enjoyable for what it was, but I did not. It, what it didn't. What it didn't do for me is is do anything for the cur- characters that Kirby created that have had an impact on the history of the DC yeah. universe. It did none of that, and maybe it didn't need to. Yeah, I. It, and I don't know much about them, and it. I would, I'll tell you what it didn't. It didn't inspire me to go look into more of the new gods. I thought it was an enjoyable story. Uh, I would put it, the way I would summarize it is, I think the hype was like a movie sometimes. When you see a movie and you're like, it's so hyped up that when you finally watch it, you're like, it was all right, you know? I think if I went back and read it again, maybe it would be uh, a little, maybe I'll catch something. I don't know. I'll give it a shot again. Yeah, and it may need to because it, there's a lot there. Yeah. And I it, mean, there's a lot there. And uh, again, I, I enjoyed it. I, it is a good read. It's worth checking out. Here's my knock on it. This is the only knock and the reason it gets a three and not more is it felt like a story that could have been told with different characters on a smaller scope. Since we, the battles weren't important, since yeah. these were more humanistic views of, or, I mean, yeah. portrayals of the new gods, it could have been told with a uh, Nightwing or yeah. something, you know, instead of the massive storytelling that it was. Yeah, and, uh, these giant characters, and I think it's it's set up stuff really well, like uh, Big Barda's group of uh, the chicks, like the, the bad, Furies. Yeah, the Furies. I think that would set up like an interesting run on that. Or it was cool to see how they when when she yeah. was pregnant. Yeah, that was at, neat. Yeah, it, weird. Weird yeah. is what it was. It was. Yeah, I mean, it was yeah. neat, but it was kind of weird. And I guess that's like a. Yeah, I guess that's kind of the point. Like with the family, like maybe you don't get along with all of your family, but then a new life comes around. The first like, natural born theory, yeah. it, like they said, in the, like a hundreds yeah. of years or something. I yeah. thought I thought his uh, his ability to tell like a home life of a superhero was spectacular. I just was expecting more, I guess, from the actual battle itself. Yeah, it reminded me of the at, in apartment scenes in uh, Matt Fractions. Was it Matt Fractions' run on Hawkeye? Uh, Hawkeye. Yeah, that's what it reminded me of. Uh, and but like you said, I enjoyed the art. Um, we should uh, review the Matt Fraction run on Hawkeye one day. Oh, too. yeah. That'll be a good yeah, yeah. one. You know, um, honestly, I don't think I read the last issue. I, wow, that's weird. 
Like it, just it, one issue that it was you a long before. delay yep. on the very last right. one, and nope. I don't know if I ever went back and finished uh, it. Side note, and we're going to get more into this, but apparently there's a uh, Jeremy Renner, yeah. Hawkeye. In yeah, the I got works. a whole list on the Sweet. on the yeah. on the Facebook TV series, TV series. Yeah. So um, yeah, so so I mean, we've been waiting a long time to talk about it. We yeah. should have devoted more time to it, but instead, what happened in the world is the biggest event in the history of comic books happened. It did. And it came up in, to this point. Yeah, up to this point so far, going to be hard to top. It really is. Uh, uh, I mean, this was twelve years of movie making, yeah. even longer, really. If you go back to the X Men movies, I know they don't tie in, but it yeah. really kick started and Spider Man kick started. Yeah. Uh, but of course, we're talking about Avengers Endgame. And for those that don't know, and I go ahead and get this out of the way because I got a feeling I want to get your review, and then we'll get your rating, and then we'll talk about the things um, because some one of my friends on on uh, uh, one of my former customers, a friend Quentin on on Facebook, said it was a flawless movie. That's not true. That is not true. Is I not don't think true. it was flawless. Yeah, but it, it was three hours and one minute long. And we're going to talk about that. <laughs> but if you listen to our, my one-man episode I did a couple days ago. I haven't ago, yet. I'm sorry. 4.25 is what I gave it out of a 5. 4.25. I give it 4.5. Okay. Well, that's your so, – so let's jump right into it. Let's talk about your thoughts on what uh, – just the whole experience, and then we'll break down what we thought, like where it went wrong, what it got right. I thought overall it was an, an extremely enjoyable ride. Uh, I thought the first – Hour and a half to two hours. The first two thirds of the movie is pretty slow. -ish. I felt that way too, and we talked about that. And everybody said, and and I brought this up in the episode too, and that's the last time I'll reference it. Uh, we I'd said that there, people told me in reviews I read because this does not feel like a three hour movie. It felt like a three hour movie to me. It was. It did, and maybe it's because yeah. I maybe because I saw it at ten thirty at night, but it did feel like a three hour movie. Go. I'm no, sorry. I felt like a three-hour to movie to me, and I'm not even. And maybe that's just because I'm not that big of a fan yeah. of these movies. But you had seen, you had watched Endgame going into this, Infinity though, right? War. Infinity War. Infinity. I mean, I'm sorry. And she yeah. liked Infinity War. Yeah, well, Rachel yeah. really liked it too. Uh, I definitely teared up at Infinity War. Really? Infinity War. Infinity not Endgame. War. Yeah. Okay. Um, so are we spoiling? We could say so spoilers. So I'm going to put right? that on here. We're going to have some spoiler alerts okay. because it's going to be hard and very. Few people have not seen this movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tom being one of them that hasn't. But, yeah, but I don't. He hasn't watched we any don't, of them up to it. We don't. We can do the best we can to preserve as much of the movie, but we are going to get into spoilers. So this is yeah. going to be a spoiler heavy episode. Yeah. Um. Uh, but Missy even brought up that she might have teared up in this one had we been in the comfort if we were of our at own home. home. I probably would have teared up. Oh no, I cried. A oh no, really? No, yeah. I did not. I, I came I, close. I was. It was pretty close to. I. I, I was. I shed a. Decent tier, I and I did. Well, let's just go twice ahead. actually. Let's go ahead and <laughs> well, start yeah. with what we thought worked and didn't work. We can just we're, we're going to go all we're going to bounce around quite a bit here, but let's start with where you started with the first two hours, the first two thirds. Yeah. That would be the time traveling plot device. Yeah. Um, what I liked about it is that it was Scott's plan. It was yeah. Ant Man's plan. I like that they made him the important person to come up with the idea. Yep. I thought that was awesome. I like how it tied into the technology from Hank Pym. I enjoyed that. Yeah. Um, I don't always enjoy time travel as a means to fix ends, things in yeah. movies. But I thought they did a good job with that by saying that, you know, you can't go back and kill baby Thanos because that's that, that creates your new, yeah. that's your future and this moment is still your past and it doesn't change anything. Yeah, yeah it would create alternate no, reality. it wouldn't create all three realities. It, it just, doesn't change anything. But at some point, anything. they said that you yeah. couldn't do that. Well, yeah, yeah later. Your, but... your future just keeps going from that point, yeah. and everything would have the happened. The snap still would have happened. Yeah, everything would have happened. Um, yeah, I thought they did that, and I thought the reason they did that is later in the film, which we're going to get to, the reason they, they hounded on that a couple of times yeah. um, was the ending of the film. So yeah. be ready for that, that you've been warned. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what I one thing that I will tell people that say that it doesn't feel like a three hour film and that what would you cut out? I'll tell you exactly what I would cut out. There was no point for um, support group cap. It, it served no purpose. That was a ten minute film scene that you could have easily thrown some other thing in there. Uh, there was only even not one other joke that referenced that scene. Yeah, that that was. I mean, that was, and the internet kind of gave it heat for this. I heard saw this over the weekend. That was the uh, call out to the LGBT 
LGBTQ community. Oh, because they yeah. Well, we'll get but more of that they, later in the. They came back and said that's not enough, which I I get. Like it was a nice nod, but. They need a gay character. Okay, so we'll so that was a little understated. At the yeah. end of this, we're going to get to one thing that was how overstated. Know, how do we know Black Panther isn't gay? He doesn't have. We don't a really woman. know any. Yeah, he does. Who's he's got a yeah, he's, he's got, got a that woman. love interest in yeah. the movie. That's who he goes to. She's oh, undercover. Yeah. yeah, and yeah. we do know that he's not gay just because of the comics. years of comics that have been around. But never seen. Have we seen Thor either. with a woman? Yes. Yeah. Jane Foster. Yep. And he Shit. even went on about. <laughs> But yeah. you did good. What I, about Scarlett Valkyrie's, Johansson? I'm pretty sure Valkyrie's a lesbian. In the comic books, yes, but not in the movies. We've never seen her. And she's she got a manly voice. Yeah, well, well, Scarlett, uh, well let's uh, get back she on had point. A thing with Hulk. <laughs> yeah, let's get back Hulk. on. Oh, Hulk! Yeah, she did have a thing in the movies with Hulk. So, but let's. So, the other thing that I think, as much as I loved it, and we're going to talk about Hulk in a minute, is yeah. the whole Hulk coming down the stairs, the comic relief of that. There was another scene that was like, if I'm being picky. And yeah. I want to make the movie streamlined because really the first third yeah. felt a lot like a bunch of chopped scenes put together just yeah. to show us where they were. Then the middle third was the time travel, and there were some drawn out points on, on both parts. What I did like though was the the cold open that was awesome. Yeah, with Hawkeye, that yeah. is definitely not a spoiler because it's in the first minute of the movie. Yeah, even it's he amazing. said you'll see something before opening credits. Yeah, yeah, I thought that was awesome. Yeah, but I don't know. I mean, what do you think? Do we need? Yeah, I get what you're saying. It, it's a little bit of they put a gay character, but it's a civilian, so people are yeah, probably a little. Yeah, it wasn't. About yeah, it. it wasn't a deep enough nod, which I, you know, I get that. Uh, and it wasn't a necessary scene. I thought again with the Hulk thing with the stairs. I agree with you. I mean, it was kind of funny, but like maybe one scene real quick, not so much of him just running around going stairs. I think what they wanted us to do there, I think they wanted us to bask in the moment of the aftermath of the battle yeah. in New York. Yeah. This See what is I, what happened, which didn't seem as good as it, it seemed like a letdown to me because yeah. they're all beat up eating shawarma, yeah. shawarma, and... There they looked okay and like healthy and happy and they yeah, were just kind of walking around. Yeah. yeah. Like Cap, when Cap fights... Spoiler cap, like they both look at the in the prime of their fight. Yeah, and at the great end, scene, of, though, yeah, great yeah, yeah, little thing. Yeah. Oh shit! Yeah, that uh, that is America's ass. Was fucking funny. Yeah, <laughs> that was yeah. funny. There are some funny moments that yeah. you expect out of the Russo brothers in this film. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Go ahead. No. Um. Some of the other things, like again, we'll just so you you brought up the the LGBTQ to to community how they said that wasn't enough here's something that i thought and this is jumping to the end and we can always like i said we can move around um the me too movement inspired a scene in this movie and i thought it was just ridiculously which one uh when they were trying to get the gauntlet to the van and he's like how am i gonna make it well he's not alone and in every female character oh. in the movie is that the what series, that was i didn't catch that all like of that. them stood up it was nothing but female characters like he's got wait, us wait wait me. time out you're hating on that? It's are you felt you feel it was forced? Way too forced. Way too forced. You're right. It was forced, but as a female, that was a feel good moment for females. Now, yes, yeah. I totally agree. It was a forced, forced thing. Yeah. One, now, one you guys haven't women. watched Captain Marvel though. No, not yet. So that whole movie is a feel good movie for women. No, I don't great. mind that. Yeah, I don't know, and it's great. So I, I think it was a cool little rally around like. She's the strongest woman, and then there's the rest. I thought it. I didn't. It did, I didn't catch. Well, that. she wasn't the one. She yeah. comes in after the fact. Yeah, it everyone was with rallying Wakanda. around yeah. her, and but, what, I well, get it what, wasn't I, her. It was around Peter. Peter had the gauntlet, yeah. and it was and they were protected. And then she goes, "Follow us," and it wasn't even Captain Marvel. She catches him after. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, and I get what they're doing, but I why couldn't they have just it been girls and guys? See, I think when you go out of your way to push one side. You you're doing a disservice. But you got to remember when they made this movie, it was in the thick of the Me Too oh, movement. Oh, they, yeah. like, they would have done that if they made it today. You're, I don't, it may not have felt so forced when they were making this uh, movie. That was in the thick of. I shit. literally gave that zero thought. Yeah, I I mean, it, it, I couldn't Did somebody help but else give, bring this up. No, me. No. I couldn't help but give it thought because it wasn't one girl, one two girl, one three girls, one four girl. It was five female characters, and they took turns saying it. And I got another problem later in the film with where they kind of the way they panned out on that. I don't um, know. It, well, the funeral at the end. Okay. When they, I did not. I mean, no one stands like that at a funeral. They they oh well they're all spaced out and they cut to <laughs> yeah. each other. Well, the camera couldn't make its well, way through. Well, that, yeah. that was just for cinematic. Well, this was the same style filming, only it was pulling back to each one of them. I and, felt 
and I don't know if it's because that she's going to be the new leader of Phase 4 or whatever, but Is Captain she? Marvel being the second to last person that you see in that scene, I thought was kind of like, well, she just she just made her bones like over two months ago. So Captain well, Marvel... But also, she w- she's newer to the group. She doesn't really have well, a lot saying. of friends. I didn't like, think you that... You saw them stand in groups Yeah, yeah. but I didn't think her standing there by herself as the last shot had too much... I thought, I thought they were putting too much emphasis on her when the whole front half of the movie, which I really... The one thing that I was going to say that I really liked is that for the most part, short of Ant-Man, it was the original, an Avengers The movie. original Avengers. And I really liked that. And then at the end, I think the final scene should have probably been those original group together, like with those Something that were left. different. Yeah, I could see that. Um, the, so my other... One of but my I, other low points of the film, too, was Captain Marvel. Um, obviously, in the fight, she was awesome. But her movie, I know she had time to shine. In this one, I felt yeah, like yeah, she was as cardboard they, as it gets. Yeah, they... Her lines were stupid. They didn't give her really anything to do. No. Plus, they, they gave her that haircut, and they took away her badass helmet. And the whole yeah. reason they did is because she was in so little of the movie, which is fine, I guess, that you needed to see her face. Well no, in, in a, well, no, not really. The whole reason they did is now she's had over one of her haircuts that the comic books have had. She's had the mohawk and the Yeah, that's helmet. dumb. That but, fucking... That, that helmet that she puts on with the mohawk is awesome. Yeah. yeah uh, but, Everyone outside of the Avengers had a little part, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, was, and I was going to get to that, too. But hers was like... so. We, I don't think they gave her enough time to shine, is what I think. Well, she was supposed to be, as, as from what we understood... No, they hyped it up like that. Yeah, from what that we understood by Fury... Tech, or, you know, she was going to be one of the solutions. She wasn't. In fact, Thanos hands it to her. She does. She brings his ship down, and that's yeah, she pretty important. Ship down, and that was all. Uh, that was what she was uh, there. She's a heavy gun. I thought it was Arya Stark that saved the day. <laughs> <laughs> wrong one. Wrong one. And we might hit on that in a little bit. Just but kidding. she was a Stark, so maybe. Uh, yeah. But no, she brought the ship down, and that was important. But when yeah. she so her whole ability to absorb the energy, he just pulls the power stone out and knocks her clean out of the fight. Yeah. Um. So speaking well, of uh, yeah, and it was and it was her first go around with anything that uh, that we know of that powerful too. So she, and she didn't have the historical fight with him before, so she doesn't she didn't know much about the power stones. I oh, mean, so she's been off planet this. So whole we'll time. get to the historical fight in a second. But Missy yeah, but brought hold up. Hold on, going back to what you just said, they they didn't just like not have her. They sent her out into the universe. Yeah, which was a silly thing for me to like. Well, that's her role. I get yeah, it, her role but it was, was like, oh, you're just gonna send her out into the universe, and she's just not. She said it's gonna be a while before you see. It's her. a yeah, which, and yeah. I'm like, that's no, a well, that's, that's a poor poor writing. That's a plot device to say, okay, she's gone for eighty yeah. percent. Yeah. I movie. think it. Yeah, they just. It would have been a four-hour movie had they put more of her in. Okay, there. so and Nick Fury was not even in the movie. Well, he was snapped. That's right. Never yeah. Mind. Well, so. Speaking of that, and this is not a big problem with the film, um, because, uh, but it, I understand why it is. There was a lot of characters you have to get in, but Missy, she, her, one of her problems was she said, I felt like we've been waiting for these characters to come back the whole film, and then they're all back for maybe a line each. Which I thought was fine because it was an Avengers movie. Yeah. No, no, you're right. What I had a problem with was the amount of time. We saw what happened... And it took forever for them to come back. Yeah. It just it kept going. And, and I'm like, I know they're coming back. And I, I get yeah. you have to have a build up, But I think that was at least half hour before they even came back. And they were, it, no, it wasn't even a half hour. I think, the was, combined, uh, I think the combined screen time of like actual words from like Doctor Strange and Peter Parker and four minutes. <laughs> Black Panther is maybe three. I was going to say two. Yeah, maybe. I mean, it's... So and I get there was ways too many characters to do, but it so but when you do it the way you did it, Russo brothers and who am I to criticize you? You guys are making more money than I do making movies because I'm zero. Um, is the way you did it? It just felt like fan service. Each give give each a cover because or a splash pe- page, so to I speak. Think it had to be. I don't know that it had to be. I don't know what a be- I, don't I guess have that's a- my only real letdown is the fact that it wasn't a giant battle like I. Yeah, they tried to make it big. They it tried to make it big. big it, I mean, it, it was a giant battle, but it wasn't like a... Like, it was a heist film with just the original Avengers, which is fine, but 
they let it. They let you think that they were going to solve this problem in the beginning, mm-hmm. bring everybody back, and then it'd be a movie about all of them trying to fix something else. Ah, uh, that's not what I. Or thought. not something else, or I like mean, some I, other Thanos I, plot. I just or whatever. figured they were going to like so. Uh, friend of the sh- friend of me, but never going to ever be on the show. How Pal said. Well, it would have been cool to have them there longer earlier in the film, and maybe then hunt Thanos down. Yeah, and that's maybe what I thought was going to happen, or something. Yeah, I could yeah, see that. Yeah, that would have been better. So here's my the thing that I absolutely and, and we're railing on the movie a lot, and I you know I gave it a four two five out of five. So I'm going to tell you the things I really loved about it in a second. I got, wait wait wait. Let me do one more complaint. Though, All right, because I think this is well. No, I got one more too. My I biggest have one. one as well. Well, two biggest ones. So. All right, my biggest complaint on the movie was there was not enough Hulk. Smashing shit. Okay. That is my, <laughs> my complaint. My biggest complaint is, so they paid a little tribute to Secret Wars number four cover with Hulk holding up the, the rubble yeah. and keeping people alive. Yeah, that was cool. I enjoyed it. But the ent- we've been waiting all year for him to fight Thanos again because of the performance yeah. anxiety he had. And, he and we did didn't it. get it. No. In fact, Smart Hulk is a very boring character to me. Yeah, I, did I didn't like, like it. That. That's stupid. Like... Just personally, like, and I don't, I, I feel like I'm the guy from Mallrats here, but like, who's banging him once he's a fucking 10 foot tall green giant? Well, Missy, no one. speaking of 10 foot tall, he didn't even look as big. No. Yeah, I'm like, okay, so I didn't like the fact that he figured out a way to make Smart Hulk and, and, Gan- and, and, and Hulk Hulk yeah, together. together. I did not like that. I didn't like the character. Just, I didn't like that he couldn't Hulk out yeah. and smash it. And the only way that they brought it about was. Going back to see old Hulk, they made yeah. they made both characters less appealing and well, less charming. That was uh, I agreed with uh, Valkyrie, like uh, and How Pal also yeah, said this. I, I like you better her. the other way. Yeah, you, I like both of the other ones better than you. Yeah, yeah, yeah and perfect. So yeah, that was my biggest letdown. The other small letdown is I thought. I love Chris Hemsworth as a comedic actor; he's great. Yeah, but I was very put off by whiny fat Thor. No, no, I thought it was great. Yeah, it I'd, totally worked for me. Yeah, I have a problem. I didn't like, it. I didn't like yeah. the fat Thor. I have a problem with the evolution of Thor in these films anyway. He's like finally come to terms with all the powers inside him, but it's only pick and choose and only omni level once yeah, in a while. I, I, don't know. I mean, it's like when, when he goes to fight Thanos and he's got all this power in him, he didn't really need those weapons. But. Uh, well, the snap happened right away. He had no, one hit. I'm talking about in this film, in Endgame. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's got because he starts, you know, getting yeah. his power psyched up, uh, but and, and it never, I don't know. But that said, Chris Hemsworth is a brilliant comedic actor. Yeah. Who oh, knows? man. It, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's really funny. Um, I had I, one question that I had was, so, Ms. Miljorn? Mjolnir. I, Mjolnir, I'm saying it wrong. Uh, can call lightning itself? Yes. I didn't realize the that. The power's in the hammer. Yeah, I, you're the, right. I yeah. did read. It's the, he who wields the hammer wields the power of Thor or whatever. Yeah. Who he is worthy shall wield the power of Thor. Yeah. Um, but I thought they, they kind of negated that. When with he, the powers also in him. He, in him. So I, it's it's weird yeah. storytelling. Okay. I mean, it's comics. Um, so, so, I mean, you're let's, getting into uh, it. Let's, before we start about talking about all the things that, that we did like, well, let's let's get into the stuff we did like because I think the biggest takeaway from this, the biggest, uh, the two things is the fate of Tony Stark, which uh, we've told you there's spoilers. Yeah, he does die. Yeah, um, that was a good moment in the movie, even though you know it sucks that Tony's dead. Uh, and then the fate of Captain America, and we're going to come back to that. I want to finish yeah. with that. Um, the things I did like, I did really like the Avengers Assemble. Yeah, when he said when they all come up on him and he says because what we wanted also see is in the comic books the original comic books the most impactful scene in that whole run was Cap knowing he could not win yeah. and standing face to face with Thanos yeah and fighting him yeah so we saw that but we also seen Cap lift the hammer yeah and Thor say I knew it yeah and that was he, great. and he goes to town against Thanos yeah. and. But again, Thanos still destroys the shield, knocks yeah. him down. That's when you get the preview where he pulls it tight and he's ready. At that point, it's an awesome scene because he knows he's going to die, but he's going to go fight him anyway. Yeah. And then Sam, Cap, we're here. Yeah. Over, got your left. And then he looks, and then you see all the circles pop up. That, And then he says it. Finally, Avengers assemble. Yeah. Finally, after all these years, we hear it. Um, I loved Iron Man's snap. Uh, I love him. Say, I am Iron Man. Oh, small complaint there. 
if it was so easy to pull the gems out of the gauntlet, why didn't they just pull them out of oh, the gauntlet? Oh, you no, 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 they're not. But that was his gauntlet that he designed. That's what I told Hal Pow too. But I wish he would have pushed a button or why? something. He doesn't need to. Well, we it, don't know. We it was so quick. it was sleight of hand. Know. Yeah, we like, don't know what happened. I wish they would have explained it other than like, look, got him. I think that was the whole point. Like there was no time. Like he didn't know how that he got him off of there. That's the whole point. I say that doesn't. I don't. I don't like what do you mean that. He didn't know. He yeah, didn't it, like you he just didn't know. said no, no. Tony Stark knew, but uh, Thanos but didn't know. No. So you, I, I think as an audience, we're we're gonna supposed to know as much as Thanos at like, that point. Tony built a set fail safe or something. Yeah, he had to have. But I wish I mean, they would have alluded everything. to it. By not alluding to it, you say, well, why didn't they do this? Same way they said, why didn't he just cut his arm off out. with uh, Doctor Strange? Yeah. Why didn't he just cut his arm off? Well, then it takes the gravity out of the scene. I get it, but it's also a little bit of a, they call they're called plot holes for a reason. I, d- I don't I don't think of all the things that could be plot holes, I don't think that's one. I disagree, but he didn't. I did did lead to him saying, "I am Iron Man." Yeah, and also by the way, why do we need snaps? Why why do they just have to? Snap? I, I, I didn't mind the snap. The snap is fine. Three snaps in two films. Him, <laughs> him snapping, and then like. Burning up on the side and like his face at the end was the- almost as grotesque as him in the beginning, skinny. Yeah, yeah. that was they made him yeah. really ugly. I mean, but like the he sold his death. Like I don't think I've ever seen any actor sell a death like. Well, that. I wouldn't go crazy. Well, it was man, just a good. That man good. had trouble earlier in life, so he's probably seen real yeah. death a few yeah. times. <laughs> Robert Downey may have no. like, he may have de- died. So when it's... Gwyneth Paltrow tells him he can rest, that was a good oh, moment. God, that was, was like, the oh. best resolution to a character's evolution in the Marvel yeah. Universe, because they've done a good job since day one, since the Battle of New York, that Tony has problems sleeping, yeah. he's stressed yeah. with all these, trying to figure out all these solutions. Well, it was time for him to just take it yeah. to to rest. He got everything he wanted. That was good. Can I, I ask enjoyed a dumb it. question? Yes. Does Gwyneth, was that the first time she's ever uh, been a superhero or no, in the, the movies? In Iron Man 3, Three she, yeah. got pow- she got a, oh. some powers in a suit. Or he, he alluded that he had a suit for Oh, no, she well, did she, wear no, one. No, she had powers. Yeah. She had extremist powers. She had extremist powers, but he also made her a made suit. Made her suit, yeah. So. Okay. But she didn't want it, and it got That's destroyed what it was. with the rest That's of them. That's what it was. It, it, uh, but, uh, it was cool, though. Yeah. Did you catch that, by the way, the, the extra kid at the funeral? That's the kid from Iron Man 3. Yeah, but did you catch it at the move when you were... I did. I was like, who the fuck is this kid? But you looked it up. I did have to look okay, it up. Okay, that's what I mean. Why, why couldn't they have told us? That's an Easter egg. Oh, that's a that's stupid... Because he's, he's probably getting his own show they're on saying, the Disney Channel. No, they're saying he's the next <laughs> Iron Man. No. That's why they put him in there, supposedly. Why else put him in there? Oh, he was a genius. He helped build the suit. Yeah. Rebuild the suit. That's fine. I don't know I'm all right with that. And so in the funeral scene, there was a random boy right before they showed uh, Captain Marvel. And it was like, well, who's that boy? Hayden even said, who's who's the boy? But why would he be way back by Captain Marvel and not at Because nobody else knew him. Nobody, I guess no one knew him. But again, though, if he would have been a guest of Tony. I thought that he was tried. Spider-Man. No, he was no. earlier in the, in the, yeah. the oh, thing. Oh, we're he was talking a little boy? No, no, he wasn't no, little. He was, like he was about 13, the same age as Tom 14. Holland. Yeah, I mean, he... But, oh, see, I thought... Because the, uh, the camera was kind of moving so fast. Like, you didn't even see some of their faces... I thought that was actually yeah, no. Peter Parker. Tom Holland was, or P- Peter was way up front. With Marissa Tomei. Oh, yeah, with, okay. with, his, with his aunt, with Aunt May. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, uh, speaking of plot holes, because I started reading into the Phase 4 a little bit. Uh, so Spider-Man Far From Home comes out. Yeah. And all of the same kids... Are the same age. Are the same age. So, so that means the whole all of them got snapped. That was my. I saw that right away. I mean, again, comic books. Yeah, <laughs> but still. Um, uh, so the you know, but so Cap with the shield or with the with the Mjolnir that was awesome. Yeah, uh, the battle was awesome. Um, some of the things that went on in the battle were pretty good. It was cool seeing her fly through the ship. Yeah, I, I thought to myself. And I'm not trying to compare Marvel to DC or anything, but I caught one good Superman scene, and he fixed all that problem with that yeah. ship. Just fly right through it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that was my only complaint about the battle is it felt like a DC movie at the end. Like, I think... It got I, dark yeah. real quick. When they fought, which I guess, I mean, it's not going to be in the light, but when they fought in Wakanda in the last one, it was easier to follow the fight. Yeah, yeah. Well, this there was, was also... Little... We had more characters to try to follow in this one, too. That made yeah. it for a little... And, like, the... I guess in the other in the other fight, there was some of the, uh, Thanos' generals were still around. And they were in this one, too. They were in this one. I also had a complaint about really... that. They were badasses in the first movie. Yeah, but they were not really in the fight at all that, in this the, one. Uh, the, the 
Ebony the Hand guy. or whatever. But no, the, the, the what's his name? The Cabal or whatever, the skinny yeah. guy. He goes out pretty easy yeah. when he was unbeatable in the streets of New York. Yeah. I mean, he got beat by dumb luck in the yeah, spaceship. You yeah. Know? And then uh, dumb luck in the spaceship, but he hands it to Doctor Strange yeah. and Tony oh, yeah. and the Hulk like they're nothing. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, that was my only other complaint is like <clears throat> the battle with Thanos was obviously the the main fight and everybody else was supporting characters, but it would have been cool to see. I just wanted to see Hulk fight somebody big and like Instead kick of ass. Instead not have no role in the final fight. Like in Ragnarok, he fought that wolf and it was fucking awesome. He also jumped at the the big demon. Yeah, yeah the large yeah. demon. Uh, uh, but uh, in this, he didn't fight anyone in this. But that's that's an, that's a mute, mute point or whatever you say. So let's jump on to the Cap thing. Did you have a problem with the Captain America no. thing? Okay. No. Why did Captain America give up being Captain America? He didn't. He did. He did not. How do you say The he didn't? timeline had already happened. He still goes back in time. He would have just been Captain America in the future, and he goes back he in time. did his job. But he goes back in time, creating his own future, and Cap allows Bucky to just get tortured? No, he doesn't. Does he? We don't know. You can't change that. Yes, you can. Yeah, they've already become... established that you can't. So is that what he does? But so well, wouldn't that have affected Bucky? I guess you don't really future. you don't really know don't if he know. did or didn't. So the Russos finally chimed in because the internet was all above and buzz over this. And I'll say this: I'll, some people have compared it to Nolan's final Batman film, like where Batman quits twice. Yeah, and they're like, well, neither Cap nor Batman would quit. They just wouldn't do it. It wouldn't be in them. But we don't know what he did. We don't know what kind of we don't, yeah. You don't There's know a if whole he other went movie back. there. Yeah, because uh, he has to. Also, by the way. It took all of them to heist these gems. It took him by himself to go put them all back. Well, the they had moment. to get them all at the exact same time. Yeah, but I mean, still. He could jump around and put them back at any but time sne- he wanted. Gotta, yeah, I mean, that's a little that's a It's little comic more. books, man. Uh, they but, were under a time crunch. So here's what Russo said. He, One of the Russo brothers said. He said, by Cap going back in time, he creates his timeline, which is not a part of Marvel's prime timeline, yeah. which we watched. He said the only problem that this has, and the fans are going to be left to wonder, or maybe they'll cover it in the future, how he then ends up in the Prime Universe at the end. Because that Cap would not have lived to be there that day. Because everything would have happened different for him in his reality. So how did he end up back there? And he said, he says they did that on purpose. There's another story that they have to tell, but they don't know if it'll ever get told. Yeah. I... And I I was reading some stuff about uh what's the girl I forget her name Miss Carter Agent Carter Agent Carter because everybody's like oh well she said that she her Captain America had saved her husband and this and that and but then the well he the went inter- back to have the dance yeah and so, then her husband is Captain America yeah because when he goes back and to, to see Tony Stark when they go back to the see, base in the seventies she's got his picture on. Yeah, yeah. So he desk. goes back, and that creates a whole other future for him, yeah. a different timeline. I was I was perfectly fine with it. I thought uh, it was perfect. The one thing I will say, though, is, well, like I said, but, it, you know, how does he get back to this one? So that's going to be the big mystery. And the shield is intact. So I, yeah, I guess he, he took, took it, it from, from back his then. Timeline. Yeah, but, and the Thor's hammer created a different timeline because and yeah. cause Thor took the Loki hammer back. Loki also created Loki another timeline. Loki created another one because he got the gen, uh, the cube yeah. cosmic cube which yeah i mean like he's so he's back around and then gamora is uh well doesn't... Did, did loki create an alternate timeline though because if you remember he has the cube and gives it to thanos in this timeline, yeah but in the but, they go back in that other timeline and, and tony yeah. accidentally gives him a cu- cube so he's alive yeah in some... in some form or another yeah. which is how he can have his own tv series now yeah. and then similar to uh um yeah, Loki's getting his own TV series. And so then what about and- this, though? Here's something I don't like storytelling-wise, is Cap clearly had a thing for Sharon Carter in Civil War. I mean, it's creepy, but again, he <laughs> did Which is her granddaughter, our he, daughter. Great, great, grand, great granddaughter or something. Great niece. Think, it was a great niece. Niece, okay. Well, still a little weird. Yeah, but he didn't know he was going back in time to get his old girlfriend back. <laughs> I guess presented <laughs> with the opportunity, he yeah. took it. Uh, yeah. And so Sharon's left holding the bag, man. I mean, all he did was make out with her a little bit. But she's left holding the bag now. Yeah. So In this timeline. Yeah. Yeah, but still, sad. I was okay with it. <laughs> it's weird. It's it weird. is weird. It is weird. So uh, you want to talk? Are we done? 
Yeah, we, 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 and you gave it a four, four and a four half. And a half yeah. I gave it four, two, five. So there is some great moments. All of those moments are erased by Cap having the hammer yeah. and that in battle. So it was worth it. Yeah, uh, and the comedic timing I thought was pretty good. I mean, the only thing I would have liked to see more of is Hulk kick more ass. Yes, but absolutely. <clears throat> so coming up, Phase Four. What what we know so far. I looked this the up movies today. that are coming out for sure. So which they say Spider Man Far From Home is the end of Phase Three, which I think is stupid. Just call it Phase Four. It's dumb. Yeah, because he's a part of Phase Four in theory, or is he? Because I think that they've got to renegotiate that that guarantee that contract. Uh, I would assume so. I, I mean, think Sony's it is, I, not going to back out of all this money. No, now. I think that's the end of it, though. Sony has the right to take off on their own with it. There's no way. Dumb. Do that. Well, I well, money no is everything. Uh, money no is everything. Way. See, you say that. You speak in absolutes in Hollywood, and that's not the I case. Just don't think they would. I don't think they would get off the cash cow that they're on right I, now. They made a lot of money with Venom, even if it was good or bad, and now they want maybe want him back. I mean, there you can't say it's not out of the realm of greed. Yeah, no, I get it. But they're making all that money on the into the Spider Verse right now. And smart billionaire people yeah. tend to think that they can do it on their own, oh, even yeah. with someone yeah. else doing it. So, anyways, besides that, uh, there's also a Black Widow movie in the works that's been got to be a prequel. It has to be. She dead. Yeah, she died. Spoiler alert there too. She's dead. Um, the Eternals. Which I don't know much about. Is that still going to happen since... Uh, the Eternals are a super-powered offshoot of early man with yeah. functional immortality. Like the Asgardians, the Eternals have a heavy hand in shaping Earth's They're mythology. They're arguably way more powerful than the Asgardians. Um, it says, Talk of the Eternals movie began in 2018, and by September, Chloe Zhao was set to direct. Angelina Jolie will reportedly play the lead role as Cersei... And Kumal Nanjiani. Kumal Nanjiani. Whatever. Is rumored to co-star. So that's all that we know of that one so far. I'll take one. Um, well, here's the thing. So I've read some Eternal series here and there. Yeah. I can tell you one thing about this movie. Uh, it's going to absolutely suck. You think so? It, that's a, they're not, it'd be like telling a story of... of a, 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 of the Watchers, just the it's just not. A, I mean, it's not going to fit. It's not going to fit into the thing unless they depower them. They're super powerful. Yeah, I I don't know much about them. I I need to read Neil Gaiman's Eternal Eternals. It's on my list. I didn't really read. enjoy that. Did you? I did didn't? not. No. And I uh, love Neil Gaiman. Yeah. And I didn't enjoy it. Uh, well, then there's obviously there's Black Panther two and yeah. uh, Doctor Strange two, both in 2021. Then there's Shang Chi, which I'm super intrigued by because yeah. he doesn't have any superpowers. He's uh, he's just a master of yeah, martial but, arts. But he has glowing hands and stuff too. No, he doesn't. He does in the comics. I'm telling you, look it up. <laughs> okay. Well, it says he doesn't have any powers. Well, but neither does Iron Fist technically. But he can just use his yeah, energy. His chi. Shang Chi is basically Shang Chi was their answer to people up in arms that they made the martial well, it was during arts. The se- yeah, it was during the 70s kung fu craze. Well, he came out. No. He did, but he was Marvel's say uh, apology to making the martial arts master a blonde oh, guy. Yeah, yeah. So is what he was, and he's a stud. He's a super stud. Yeah, he's awesome. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, Guardians of the Galaxy three. Those are all the movies that we know. So, so far. is Guardians of the Galaxy three? Is Chris Hemsworth going to be a That's main the big team? question now? I hope so. I think so. I think it's going to be hilarious. But he's got to get fit again. Like the Fat Thor was funny for one movie. After yeah, that, yeah, it's he's got to kinda... get fit again. Yeah. <laughs> uh, by the way, uh, friend of the show, Big D, Dwayne. He is now fi- officially the next comic book convention going to cosplay as the Dude Thor. Oh, yeah. It'll be perfect. That's fucking that? hilarious. You confirmed that I texted with him. him? I texted him. Because I... You caught that. that you the Lebowski. Big Lebowski. Initially, you said... Well, before we saw the Dude Thor. You said that's his costume when you saw Smart... Smart Hulk. Hulk. I thought he was thinking he was going to be Smart Hulk. And then when we Hulk. saw yeah, Dude yeah. Thor, I go, are you sure that's, that's not it? <laughs> no, and I said, no, you're right. Yeah, I mean that that's definitely the dude Thor cuz it's a, it fits Dwayne's MO as oh, little yeah. effort as possible. Oh, yeah. He just needs to put on a wig of dreads, you yeah. know? No, what would be funny is if he just grew his hair out until Halloween. Yeah, that That'd would be, be awesome. Great. Did yeah. dyed it blonde. Yeah, it would be great. Uh yeah, funny. Yeah, anyway, but it, that'll be a good dynamic him and Chris yeah. Pratt back yeah. and forth. So yeah. then uh especially then with James Gunn back on. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be great! But he's already written the script, so but we don't know that. But he, we don't know, you know that how he, long this script's been. Out. Yeah, we this this is this yeah. everything's been this yeah. movie. So then after that is uh, so the Disney Plus channel launches in November, right? And that is launching with the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Yep, and a, that's Captain America Falcon. Yeah, which I, I'm excited for, and I that's think a that's cool a little fan, It's a 
full, it's a good fan service to the comic. That was a yeah. successful comic. It's a good uh, costume too. The red, white, and blue ha- yeah. uh, uh, Falcon costume. This one it throws me off. It's Wanda Vision, starring Elizabeth Olsen as Wanda Maximoff and Paul Bettany as Vision. The series will focus on their relationship. So he's alive. That's the thing. The details of the series are quite baffling. Vision died before the and s- never reappeared. Yeah, he couldn't because he died before the snap. Yeah, it right. was, the, his thing was he tore died out. because of yeah. it. Yeah. So it says, uh, and it says Olsen spoke to Variety and said that Disney Plus launched, they said the show would take place in the 50s, which I don't understand. So they're going to make it kind of like the Vision comic book. Yeah, sure. that's what but I'm thinking. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't, I'm, I'll, they'll figure it out. Yeah. And then Loki's got his own show. And then finally, like you alluded to, Jeremy uh, Renner and his daughter have a short series apparently for her to become the new Hawkeye. Yeah, cause, which, uh, so in the comic book, it's not his daughter. It's the daughter of Ant-Man, of all people. In the comic book, becomes Hawkeye. The oh, really? I didn't realize that, that yeah. that's who she was. Or, wait a minute. Is it? No, no, it's not her. She's a part of that. She is, she gets the power to grow. She gets his suit. Yeah. But, no, it's a. It's uh, just a the girl that, a rich girl, a rich, uh, you know, super rich girl that's very good at archery and be- joins the Young Avengers. Yeah, 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 yeah that's yeah. it. And but his daughter will work for that because they'll yeah, be a good daughter. Yeah, at the beginning yeah. Anyway. The only thing I don't like, and, and, and again, it hasn't happened. The only thing I'll say that I, if they're going to go down the Matt Fraction comic, he doesn't have. To, he can't have a wife and two boys. You know, I mean, yeah, they'll find a way. I'm sure to make it like that to be but enjoyable. But she had her own. I think he's not going to do a TV show. Yeah, I know it'll be a he'll her. Do, he'll be there. He'll maybe do six episodes, and then it's going to be a spinoff on her. And she, I think, I don't know if Matt Fraction did that comic, but she did one where she was a young Avenger in Hollywood or in on the East West Coast. Oh, West Coast. She was Avenger. a West Coast Avenger mm. for a while. So I think that would probably be yeah, something like that. That makes sense. So what do you want to see Phase Four movie wise? That's not a sequel. It hasn't been out there yet. That's oh, the I mean, I, had they not screwed it up so bad with the TV show, uh, Inhumans would have been great. Yeah. But that ain't happening now. Um, boy, I don't know. Uh, you know what I want to see? I want to see the, the Secret War, the Kree scroll, or the Kree, uh, the scrolls. See, can, but I got to watch Captain you Marvel. You haven't watched Captain Marvel, and I don't want to spoil it for you. Yeah. Um, well, you could say it. I mean, we spoiled Avengers. It's no. just not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Yeah, so that would have been fun. Um Gosh, you know, I'm, I don't know. I mean, well, you know what I want to see? I want to see the uh, mutants in the Marvel MCU. I see, see, I mutants. don't. I like that they're separate. I like that it's separate universes. I mean, everybody's going to want to see X-Men versus the Avengers eventually. Yeah, I think they will eventually, but uh, I want to see I, I want to see another. I like the space stuff a lot. We're, yeah. I want to see another. Uh, I, wanna, I wouldn't mind seeing Nova. Nova would be great, but they yeah. kind of goofied the Nova core up in Guardians yeah, of the Yeah, but they can make the kid and... You know, I mean, he's basically their version of Green Green Lantern. Uh, well, so yeah, there's there's space uh, police. Yeah. So yeah, what uh, is uh, Thor's sister's name in the comic? I forget it. Uh, she's a mutant or whatever. Oh no, you're talking about magic. That's that's DC. that's from the X. No, it's not DC. It's from uh, the X. The one who has a sword. That's uh, that's a uh, Ma- that's Ilyana Rasputin. That's yeah. not Thor's sister. Oh, I thought it was. That's, um, I that's, thought she'd be a pretty good character. That is. Um, uh, Colossus's right sister. Oh, that's it. That's yeah. it. I knew it was another big No, dude. she'd be awesome. And yeah. there's a lot of cool things, like a Young Avengers movie might yeah, be Yeah, cool. I think a Young Avengers would be great. Uh, like, did you stick around at the end of the movie? No, because... Uh, you knew what it was? No, Dwayne told me. It's nothing. It's nothing. It's just... It's Tony Stark fucking hammering it at the suit in the like in the first Iron yeah, Man. Yeah, nothing. It's just a callback to the first Iron Man. Well... And that's why people said that combined with the picture of the boy, they think that are the the boy being there that he's going to be the next Iron Man. They and there's insiders saying that's absolutely their goal is to have a kid take up the mantle. And that's I was thinking it was going to be his daughter, but she's so young. And yeah, and he's her. there. Already. But who's to say when the next Iron Man's supposed to jump out into the world? I can tell you oddly, oddly enough, I'm not exactly chomping at the bit for a Hulk movie. No. Uh no, I don't think so. I, I he he's great as a secondary character, but I'm not really. I'm looking over here and seeing what maybe might be you know uh, a Daredevil movie done right, but they're not going to do that either. I would like to see a Luke Cage in uh, Power Iron Man, Man and Iron Fist. Yeah, Power done Man. right, or even we're doing... not going to see an Iron Man or Iron Fist movie yeah. because they're not going to whitewash it any more than they have, and they're bringing out a Shang Chi movie. Yeah. So, but I mean. If they would 
team up at some point? Or... Yeah, maybe. I, I get. I mean, th- I get. The last thing I think they're going to do is touch the Netflix properties. Yeah, they're going to let that, those go away for a while. I read a rumor that they have to keep them in bed for five years. So yeah, I mean that's they're going. But five years is not a long time. I mean, think but, about it. I mean, it's, it's yeah. how long it's been since our first Iron Man. It seems like it's nothing, but it's been twelve years almost. So. Do you think that they'll start? They'll. I don't think since it's Disney, they'll never start spinning off like Punisher and stuff. Like it's that's too dark. I think. No, I, th- I think they're still gonna, they're going to keep Deadpool going. So and Punisher's already been also a Netflix series too. So yeah, but. It, but Dis- that that was before it was in Disney's house. We're getting a little feedback or something. Yeah, but well, I, I there we go. Yeah, um, but no, they said it, they're going to keep the R-rated dip Deadpool. Going. Yeah, okay. they got Deadpool three is already in the works, which I can't wait to see him kill Pikachu just uh, <laughs> as a joke. Yeah, that would be that funny. Movie looks- Retarded. Oh, I'm going to see it. Okay, speaking of, a, uh, uh, we'll, we'll journey a little bit into our uh, other podcast here and talk about a couple other things. Speaking of stupid movies, how about the Sonic the Hedgehog trailer today? You watched it? I did. Uh, I think it's going to be terrible. Oh, yeah. It's $90 million to make that movie. Is it really? <laughs> yeah. It was what? 45 of that Jim Carrey's salary? Right, right. Like, what? Like I just in the two minutes of the trailer, I was tired of Jim Carrey, and I like him, but that's going to be a lot of Jim Carrey. Um, yeah, so I got, but go, real quick before we spin off and let's talk just for the heck of it. Let's talk about Game of Thrones for a little bit. Yeah. We got to try this White Walker shit. Um, how about of the planned phase four movies? What movie are you most excited about? Uh, probably Black Panther two. Yeah. I, 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 that might maybe. I hope it's better. Missy that liked, are, she, she liked Endgame more than she did Black Panther. I don't think. Black I think they're on the same level. In I don't think. Film. I think as the as the first African American like led movie, it just was so boring. I I don't think it was boring. I don't at think all. the fight like at the it. end was. I don't. I, I thought feel the like fight it, at the end was too much CG. I thought it was a letdown. The way it ended the fight at the end, yeah. I thought it was a letdown. But I thought uh, Killmonger was a spectacular villain. Yeah. And oh, uh, Killmonger, yeah. it's Monger, isn't it? Killmonger. It sounded Monger. like you That's said Killmire, I thought. No, he said Monger. Yeah. Oh, I was like, who uh, the hell's Killmire? Yeah, I thought Killmonger was a spectacular villain. I thought the fight that itself. That time he said Killmire. It sounds that way. Uh, was, a, was a letdown. Yeah, um, a lot of great things in that movie, yeah. though. Um, uh, yeah, maybe. I mean, yeah, I'm excited to see Spider-Man. Um, I just, I mean, I think Marvel's going to be fine. I think they're going to do all right. I, I think, you know what? I do predict a box office letdown. Yeah, because everybody's been building them towards this, and there's going to be Star Wars. You know, you go, got a box office yeah. let down with. So, I mean, you just have to. They what they're going to need to do is do take the Star Wars approach. Now they're going to need to slow it down a little yeah. bit. Yeah, uh, like, but if you go back and look at like the Phase One stuff, like Captain Iron Man was great. Captain America uh, was okay. It was a best. commercial for the new Avengers movie. Yeah, you know? Thor was. Not very good. The first Thor was okay. The second Thor was a letdown. The third Thor was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. The first Thor I thought was It just I, it was too fast paced yeah, of a story. Exactly. And then like Hulk is completely unforgettable. Most people forget that's even a fucking movie. Well, it is forgettable, not unforgettable. It's a hundred percent forgettable, yeah. yeah. So I mean you gotta think about it. Like the I I agree. I think they'll slow down a little bit. It'll be one movie a year, maybe maybe one in the fall, one in the summer. Yeah, I think are they're gonna start seeing bo- diminishing returns at the box office if they yeah. don't keep going. It's only gonna take one turd though for people to turn for Hollywood to turn on them. Yeah. Well, you blew your load with Endgame, and now look, you got. Well, turn. I mean, they made a billion dollars in the first weekend. Yeah, but That's if, un- I know, but if they have one that makes like a, a seventy million opening weekend, they're yeah. gonna be like, hey, what yeah. happened? Yeah. This is Deadpool money, and it's rated R. Yeah. You know. Yeah, but that's that's just the nature of the game. Yeah, it is. I mean, cyclical. At some point, I got bad news for people. At some point, the superhero movies are going to be be gone for I a mean, while. People say that, but like they just keep popping up. Yeah, zombie movies are gone for a while, and they were big yeah. budget for a while, or big business for a while. And there's a lot of source material. Yeah, there's a lot of source material. But uh, speaking of source material. Uh, let's jump into the White Walker. I'll get us a couple of glasses while you talk about it, because uh, I reviewed it. Um, you both, neither of you have heard it, so I just you guys start on your takes on it, and and we'll we'll jump into that about the. Uh, I think they call it the Battle of Winterfell. Okay, I'll let you go first. Um, it was very slow. The last what fifteen minutes was the best of the whole entire episode. No, I thought it was. Pretty quick from fighting. Nah, I was so bored, and it was shitty, shitty, shitty to watch. Let me like, ask you this. Let me ask you this. Now, 
Was it slow because you couldn't fucking see anything? Probably. Well, probably. And I read that the guy that that shot that, he's like, we shot it correctly. But what happens is HBO compressed it. And when you're, especially when you're watching it streaming, it pixelates it. Yeah. So it wasn't his fault. Well, but, and he said, the best way to watch the show is in the dark. Like at a oh, movie theater. Oh, I was, theater, we were in the dark. At a movie theater. We do nothing but watch Game of Thrones in the dark because yeah. it's in the 8 o'clock hour for us. So yes. we turn off the lights. It's dark as shit in our house. And I still couldn't see. So I read that too. But I also read that that was the concept was to have it as dark because it was a battle of the Night King. And they wanted it dark. I Yeah, I think they wanted it dark because they were trying to get the essence of all the soldiers on the ground who can't see shit. And then... John and Daenerys in the sky again who can't see shit I thought that it was a very good visual with the Dothraki running out there with the flaming oh, swords was, and then they were snuffed gorgeous. out oh. that made sense yeah. um, and lighting of the trench made sense yeah yeah um but yes, let's let's get the too dark thing was a m- massive misstep yeah let's assume for the fact of what we're going to talk about that we could see it yeah um some of the other problems with it I thought was the only one massive problem I thought was is if you've read the books and if you've watched the show intently and paid extra close attention to the story, the Night King is supposed to be this massive threat. The whole theme of the books is fire against ice, living against death. That's the whole theme of the the concept of the books. Yeah. And in the third episode of the final season, because they, it, they're done. Well, that's because HBO pivoted to the real Cersei. character and real, like, live action yeah. human who has stole the show, and it's Cersei. And I mean, fi- I'm I, fine I, with it. I guess she stole the show. I, I'll be honest with you. Since she's Is been the queen, badass, like since she's been the queen, like the absolute queen, they yeah, shifted all slowed. the focus from her. They've slowed it down. Speaking of queens, another thing I think that I don't like about it right now, they've almost made Daenerys unlikable. Yeah. yeah. She, but they did that in the book, too. Like, the last one, when she flies away, she's kind of... Well, she flies away, because... Yeah. And then shits herself, and then yeah, she's recaptured. Can we, they make her kind of stupid Can in that we too. just point out the fact that Dick made Arya invincible for one uh, moment? She's been training for five years for this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, but the, she had dick, sex and, the dick yeah, is I what mean, made she wanted it again. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, he made it, too. The so. best uh-huh. thing about it was Arya winning it, and... How yeah. she won it with the weapon that she chose that Bran gave to her, insinuating that Bran knew that she yeah. was going to need it. Um, she did it with yeah. a trick that she learned from the faceless man. Did you? Did I don't know if you guys have been paying attention on Twitter or whatever, but like they were showing the uh, Brianna Tarth and her in their first battle in the show when they fought each other. Yeah, and she Brianna's got the sword on her, but she's got the knife in her side. They uh they re- they released the footage of them practicing that. And she's flipping that fucking knife for real. Like, it's cool to watch. Uh, there there were some other cool things, too, like the hound overcoming in his flame because yeah. of his love of Arya, like like a daughter or maybe a big brother, whatever. Yeah. Um, the dragons fighting when they get above the clouds is awesome. It was awesome. awesome. Uh, That's the a dragons, big budget, though. The dragons, every other scene, not so great. Yeah. I mean, I thought it was fine. Them flying. What else are they going to do? They don't have yeah, anything know, else to just fight. Just when, I mean, when they got up close to them and stuff. I was they didn't kind of bummed good. that they lost the second one. They well, didn't they lose, lose it. it. He's, he's around. He's, they lived. He'll show up. No. I thought one turned into, like, they killed the, the ice third dragon, one. and then... They no, that, was, that was the ice dragon. Oh, I thought they turned he was, one. All of his bites were... That's how bad I couldn't see y'all. Uh-huh. I thought they turned a dragon into no, another No, that ice was dragon. all... He couldn't fly because he was too damaged, but all of his bites were bleeding that blue flame. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, um, yeah that, which I thought that scene was pretty cool. Like, when he's, like... Burning down the castle and going after Jon Snow. I thought that was great. Jon was ready to face his death, a la Captain America. I was a little little disappointed in the amount of people that didn't die. I was too. Because you had Brienne, you had Jamie, you had uh, Siri and Sam. You had all these people. Sam fucking lives? Yeah. Yeah. You had all these people that fought their asses off and literally should have died on multiple occasions. And at the end, 
Oh, they're just still standing. So let's uh, let's hit on that real fast. My problem with the ones that died. The people that did die was uh, Melisandre, or the the yeah, red, the red, white, the red queen. Red, no, the red, the red priest or red, red priestess, priest or whatever. Yeah, uh, she died, and I got assumed that her power was just used up. It's why she chose to go out there. Uh, I read somewhere that she thought she was going to die, and I no, she I, said she was going to by sun up. By sun up, yeah. Well, did you do you think that she planned that she yes. was going to kill herself? Because yes. I read an article where she knew she was, someone was going to kill her, and I can't remember. Yeah. There's like yeah, a Jer- fucking uh, fifty million characters in this. Yeah. Movie show. So, so yeah. So no, the Onion Knight. Uh, they thought he was uh, going to kill her, or he was going to kill her, and she said, "I'll be dead by morning." Anyway, no, and, and everybody's talked about that. Like, was Arya going to kill her? Was he, no, I think she used her power. Yeah. No, it was a dude. It wasn't Arya that was going to kill well, her. Well, I mean, just like by the Onion Knight. It was the Onion. Knight. No, that was not the name that I read. No, it, they didn't. Use, they used his real name. Yeah, used it was him name. because she burned the girl who he loved, the little yeah, child she, that he loved. She burned Stannis Baratheon's yes, daughter. Yeah, that's it. And he's wanted to kill her since then. Yeah. And he rushed down to do it. But no, I don't. Th- I mean, I think she knew she was going to. Because for one, she lit those the Dothraki weapons. Yeah. And then when she lit the trench, she was it was harder for. Yeah. Her. And then the battle was finally over, and she threw the necklace down, and the necklace immediately changed went from went out. And, and I it think- was it was a season or two back where she required more. She was older. Yeah, and she, she required took the more power. Off, yeah, and yeah, I, she had to use King's blood to yeah, keep her going. Keep herself, and she had just wasted away. This was. The destiny that she saw in herself yeah. in the flames or whatever. Yeah, I don't think... I, I don't like the people. I've read those same things. People are like, well, she committed suicide. No, I, I mean, no, no she she was, you, she was done. Her story was done. Her power was used up, and that was it. Similar um, to Jorah Mormont. Like, he... Or, no, he, he, I'm sorry. He wasn't... He's the, the other one. But he's he's dead. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking Beric Dardarian, Dendarian. Who's he? Which one's he? He's the one with the flaming sword with the eye patch. Who oh, always yeah, yeah, came yeah, back yeah, too. yeah. He was great, but, but he yeah. didn't have his priest anymore. He, his yeah, priest she died. was gone to come bring him back. Yeah. And uh, uh, Mormon, he he went out protecting his queen yeah. like he always does. Yeah, that was a that was a good. That but was that's a good her death. fault. That was why did she get off of the dragon? She fell off. Oh, she, no, her. He got attacked by all of those uh, by yeah, the yeah, undead. Oh, no, no, and he shook her off when he was shaking the rest. No, of No, she them off. landed with him. And then, the, why did she land and step off? And then they—I don't think she stepped off. I think she fell off. No, I, they all attacked. I don't remember. Uh, maybe, but, but I like that scene because he because he started he flailing. Fought, he fought for her. Until, yeah, he did. Yeah, the end. and even survived it and yeah. then died. You know, I guess my only but, problem with the scene is like scale. There was so many fucking bodies that like you there's see there's shit no also. way you uh-huh. could fight out of that like it's impossible no, that's, that was yeah. my thing like how did Jamie Lannister and, and Brienne like okay like even Jon Snow it? like They're, when the dead when the when the night yeah, king Jon rises Snow. him like he's Jon surrounded Snow. by a hundred well, fucking just, people well you know more than that but it just took you know a dragon coming through and burning yeah, them all so, down so there's those problems here's the other problem too they've always easy peasy. they've always had a, a an issue with the sense of uh Timing, time, times yeah. never work. Varys travels across the world, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so all Brienne and Jamie and Tar- Sam Tarly, they're all covered in bad guys. Yeah, covered in monsters. They don't get stabbed or no. hurt. Or while anything. we see two, three scenes go by before she stabs the Night King, and then they all shatter and they're fine. No, they're dead. Yeah. Moment they get overwhelmed. Well, yeah. Dead. Once they were pinned against that wall and they're had dead. nowhere to go, it, it, instead they sat there for two, three scenes, going, oh, oh, yeah. then, then no. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I. You know what though? And, and I, I, I would like to think that we're going to see more to this. Um, I don't think we are. I think the 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 Night's yeah. King's dead. I do hope that Bran uh, becomes more than just a stupid part of the show. Because why did he join? The, go into the Ravens and fly around. Yeah, I thought he was going to at least let John know where the Night King's at. Nope. Didn't do anything, you know. What did, did he didn't, by the way, he didn't even tell John that he was a Targaryen. That was Sam. He didn't he, even need it. But he, he told him to tell him, didn't he? No, Sam found it in the Citadel in the books. Yeah. And when he saw Bran, Bran confirmed it, but he knew. He didn't even do Bran has done nothing for this other yeah. than give Arya the knife and be really weird looking. Oh yeah, stupid looking. That you kid. Think that kid is weird in real life. I hope he's not. I just want to see him walk around. What does yeah, he look like yeah. when on feet? 
So, but uh, you know, over what I I on the last episode, the the solo episode, gave this a four out of five. Yeah, I thought it was good. I thought the uh, the Battle of the Bastards is the benchmark for this oh, show okay. and all TV. Yeah, and that's yeah, that was John against uh, the um, the undead. Ramsey. No, Ramsey Bolton. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Battle of the, the Bastards. Red Wedding was uh... Red Wedding's another five episodes. Well, the yeah. Battle of the Bastards was good, and then when he first faces the Night King on that island, that wasn't bad. That, that was bad. that was, I thought that that was, was better than this. Yeah, that was better than. Do you guys feel like they are rushing oh, this absolutely. final epi- yeah. this final season into six episodes that are an hour? Yeah, or sometimes long. a little, a little less longer. Less was ninety six minutes. Yeah. yeah, but this is the f- first one. I think the yeah, rest the of them are all one. an hour and a half. Okay, but uh, yeah, it's. They now I don't three. know why they for, like forced it all into six episodes like that. Like, I here, the, yeah, I don't here. Know. Well, because they the show's done. I mean, I think the actresses and actors were ready to move on, are ready to go, and I think it's it's just run its course. Here's my problem. Here's my fear, not problem. My fear. Three episodes left. We have the the let or the the, the aftermath. Yeah, it's gonna be a build slash up build up episode. to the battle, the battle, and then the final episode determine who's gonna rule the kingdom. Yeah. It, it, I, I hope it's not that formulaic, but I feel like it's going to be. Probably is. Yeah. So. Uh, no, I, I, I thought the episode was fun. I enjoyed it. It was very stressful. And I thought Arya coming out of there. And then uh, Leanna Mormon, Mormon's battle. That was, was a good one. Her killing cool. that giant yeah. Missy like that, too. She took. Was, oh, yeah. That was that was probably the most noblest death, I think. Yeah. Well, outside of, uh, I don't know what that guy's name is, the castrated one. Hold, oh, oh, no. Uh, Theon Greyjoy? Yes. Yeah, Theon. That's yeah. another one, too. That uh, one got you a little teary eyed when he was like, you're a good man. Yeah. And then he's like, that was awesome. That was another moment, too, though, that Theon and Ten Archers held off all those attacking dead for that long. Yeah, it didn't you know? make that much sense. Uh, so in order to close off this little segment, this additional bonus segment, then on top of our normal pop culture comic pod episode, uh, friend, uh, listener of the show and neighbor to John brought us over the... He could be a friend. Uh, He's yeah, my friend. But not a friend of the show, but a friend of you. Yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, Johnny Walker... He could be one day. He could be. The White Walker blended Scotch whiskey, a uh, limited edition in honor of Game of Thrones. He brought this to us. To, so we will give this a go. John just went ahead and jumped the shark and did it. I did. It's um, pretty good. It tastes better than it smells. <laughs> you want to try it? No. It gave me the goosebumps watching you guys yeah, try it. drank the whole thing? Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be a sipping whiskey. It's a blended scotch. Yeah, it's very blended. It's good, though. Like yeah, it. it's not bad. I think it should I be like cold. I like that you said it's it's a good yeah. whiskey after you were like, ooh. Yeah, that's okay. I like bourbons and uh, straight whiskeys better. I'm not good at scotch. <laughs> I don't scotch well. I don't scotch well. That's scotch, what scotch, scotch. Um, it's okay. So yeah, so uh, any th- let's let's uh, unofficial segment. Throw it to Missy and see if we got anything else no. we want to talk about. Nope. Anything you read lately? Uh, I read that Doctor Unknown, which was which is uh, out of five, probably a two seven five. It's above average. Uh, Doctor Unknown. I, it's who? a self contained story. I'd have to show it to you. I bought it for half price at Last ah. Wizard World. Full story. Uh, it's okay. Um, I, I, I've other read than a, that. No. Oh okay. I've read a pretty good book called The Weatherman. And I really dug it. It is an image comic, and I thought I had all my information on it. Is it based on... Well, no, that's a DC now. So what it is, is it's based on a weatherman in Mars. Oh. And uh, it's this guy who thinks he's living, like, the greatest life in the world, and all of a sudden, all of these assassins are coming after him, and he doesn't Ah, really know why. Because he's a weatherman. And he's getting protected by a space agent type agency people. And uh, turns out that he's actually a elite killer that was part of a terrorist group that blew up Earth and killed almost all of the uh, inhabitants of Earth. And now everybody else lives on Mars. And he had a mind wipe and a face change. It doesn't oh. remember his actual uh, actual past. And so now this agent's tasked with saving him and another while all these other terrorist organizations are going and other groups are just going after him because he destroyed the world. Oh. And everyone wants to kill him, and it's great. All it right. was... Fun. Uh, First how six many episodes ep- were good. Six issues. You got to quit saying episodes for comic books. Yeah, I know. It's uh, uh, written by Jody Lehup and Nathan Fox is the artist. Okay. Very, uh, very bright colors and uh, uh, it's just a lot of fun. Out of five, fast moving. Uh, I would give it three and a half out of five. That's a good rating. That's a good rating. Yeah. Um, 
I'll have to look at it. If, if you was, get it on Hoopla? Yeah. And if it was uh if it was contained within that six issues or whatever, uh it probably would have been higher, but it's going on, so I want to see where the the whole series goes on. It's they're getting another six issues. I've got to before I start reading a bunch more again on Hoopla, I've got to go renew my uh library card. My library card has hey, uh, expired. You keep saying that. I know. I just haven't had a chance. Yeah. Started the new job, so yeah. Um, but I didn't uh, know library cards expired. I didn't either. It's like every few years. Yeah, few. It's I've had mine forever. Three, I guess. I don't know. Well, anyway, let's wrap her up then. So that uh, that is a you just got a, a pop culture comic pod and a bonus PC bombcast episode all in one. Uh, yeah. Plus me, y'all. But, well, that's well, why that's that the was bonus the bonus PC. Yeah. There's no Tom here. He'll never be on the comic book episode, so that means Bender gets to say... He did read Saga. He did, but... I get to say, hold on to your butts. And Melissa Bye. can say... And I will play our music, and we are gone. Yeah, that mother...